Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how to build a chat GPT app with C Sharp inside the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you comment, you like, and subscribe to the channel if you have it. Yeah? So let's get into it. So basically, chat GPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot that uses natural language processing to create human-like conversational dialogue. And it's developed by a company known as OpenAI. So enough of all of the talks, and let's get into the real stuff, yeah? So basically, as you, as you can see, I've got Visual Studio open. But to get us started, let's open quickly our browser. And we, get, we go onto Google, and let's type OpenAI. So basically, this is what we get. You get openai.com. So we click on the first bit here. Uh, let's open the first the first link. So here you get you get your introducing the chat GPT for whatever. So this is just the website, yeah. So we go ahead and we click on login. So this will actually open another dialog. So I'm just going to close the other one, yeah? Yeah, so basically, we've got this here. So we're going to click on the chat GPT. So, Here, obviously, as you can see, I've already logged in. So if you haven't logged in, make sure you do first. Yeah. So let's type in uh, chat GPT app or chat GPT API with C sharp. And let's see what is going to actually come out. So to integrate the chat GPT API with C Sharp, so it's going on and on, yeah? So basically, it's going to give us a code sample, yeah? So we're just going to wait for it to be complete, yeah? But as you know, I'm just going to go up, scroll up, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm going to scroll up for a minute. Yeah, so to integrate the ChatGPT API with C Sharp, you can use the HTTP client class from the .NET framework to make HTTP requests to the API. So basically, we've been given an example here. So basically, you can click here to regenerate the response, but we're just going to use the initial response. So enough of that, yeah? So as you can see, if we scroll down right after the, the code sample, so it's giving us some guidelines. So we so there's a API key that we need to generate from chat GPT. So we're gonna look into that from now, yeah? So we come back to the Google. So we instead we click on the API key, open API key, yeah? So we click on the first result. So here, we've got this page open. So as you can see, I've already generated a key. So to be able to do so, you have to click on the create a new secret key. So here, this will you you'll be you, you can create a new key from by clicking on the create secret key. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to um, pause the video while I create it, obviously. So as you can see here now, I've actually created a new key. Yeah, so basically that's the new key that I've created. So I'm not gonna show you obviously. So we come back to the Visual Studio and we create a new project, um, console app. So we new, or we click on the start window and create a new project. So the first bit is a C sharp console app. So we select the first bit, uh, click on next. So we're not going to look too much in the uh, project details here. Yeah? 
you should know it by now yeah you click on next and create the project so here we've got this simple hello world created for us so we're just going to delete everything so we come back to the, the browser we go back to the where the code was generated for us so here you can click on the copy code so now the code is copied here yeah? so we come inside the visual studio and we paste it inside yeah so let's see so now we've got all the necessary stuff so basically this actually reference http clients yeah so you need to get that so this is basically under system.net.http yeah so from here uh we're just gonna go ahead and get our api key so basically we've got this this thing here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create a very simple method uh, public topic uh, string okay we're gonna i'm gonna call it api key So this will actually return um, my API key. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy my API key and paste it here. So I'm just going to pause it while I do that. So basically, what I've done is I've copied my API key and actually pasted it into the return of this method. So I'm just going to replace this thing here. So it's just going to be the API key that I've created method, yeah? The method that I've just created. Yeah, so that's it here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it to see what actually comes out of it. So basically, it's it's created everything for us so we've got a bunch of stuff working in here so we're not going to look too much into that yeah so i'm just going to basically okay so what what it did is it just it just created a method for us but we don't have the main method so it's not going to actually work so what we're going to do is just gonna uh Create the main method before we can actually work up with this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to copy this these ones here. Okay. Basically, I've got the main method here, so this actually calls it here. So everything is fine and good to go. So let's click on run to see what actually comes out of it. So basically, we're getting this error here. So you must provide a model parameter. So it's invalid request. Yeah, so there are some other things that obviously we need to do, but I cannot put everything on this video. But since you, you've actually gotten this far, yeah, just try and continue. Make sure you find a solution to it. If you're able to find a solution to it, make sure you comment it below for other people to have a look. But I'll try and make a comment. Uh, a continuation of this video so that we can build what we have so far forever yeah so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do you know because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are peace